How much better, Sealy? The West Gate is straight ahead. I'd be a lot happier if this jalopy had a radio in it. It's been 20 minutes since we grabbed it. Uh, time enough for the sentries at each gate to have been warned. There's the gate, Unc. Straight ahead. Uh, let me do the talking now. Uh, Mac and Colo, keep out of sight on the floor. You're back there. Don't worry, Sing. Uh-oh. The character ahead is holding up his hand for us to stop. Well, then do it. But keep your motor running. Uh, konnichiwa. Osa Marina Zai. Jeepers. He said to shut up. Lieutenant, how dare you? Mr. Orford. You are no Japanese major. No? No. By the eyes of your ancestors, I swear I will... Uh, you will do nothing, Sing Lee. You will leave the car with your hands raised. Sing Lee. Come, come. Do not exhaust my patience. Put away that revolver, you silly old... So you insist on carrying out your stupid pretense. Very well. Bumpai, guard. Drive on, Tom Tom. Don't worry. Keep down as low as you can. If we can make it to this road, then we ought to be okay. We'll make it. Just leave it a little Hortense here and me. Come on, Hortense, do your stuff. They still following us? No, but they will. Uh oh. What is it? They must have hit the gas tank. Then quickly. Those Rasmala trees will hide us. Wait a sec. What are you doing, Tarzan? Might as well leave this thing so they'll smack into it when they round that bend. Okay. The trees are just across the road here. Huh? Uh, give Mac a hand with Colo across this ditch, Tom Sound. Sure. Oh, boy, it sure is a deep one. Hey. Dig in! Dig in! Colo, all right. Plenty, plenty much, Cindy. It's getting weaker by the minute, Sing. Yes, but those shots came from up ahead. And behind us are the Japanese. Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the action pictures and characters of the same name that appear in full color every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. During a daring raid on a railway vital to the Japanese on the island of Java, Sergeant McGovern was captured by the enemy and taken to the mountain town of Changzhur. There he was paraded through the streets like a caged animal. Jim and his co-leader, Colonel Sing Lee of China, put into effect an audacious plan to rescue McGovern. While Jim and the other white members of the raiders staged a diversionary attack outside the town, Sing Lee, together with Kolu, Tom Sun, and the young native Tani, entered the town itself. Using the excited crowd as a shield, they rescued their friend, but only at the cost of Tani's life. Kolu was wounded in the shoulder. In a stolen Jap staff car, they escaped from the town, but their identity has been discovered. Abandoning the car, they scurried to the safety of some woods when a sudden fusillade of shots made them scamper for cover. They realized the hopelessness of their Kolu's getting weaker by the minute, Sing Lee. Will be pretty much okay. We've got to get him out of here, Uncle Sing. I am aware of urgency, Thompson. But those shots came from up ahead. And behind us are the Japanese. But uh, you, fellas... Leave me here. Nothing doing. If you keep saying that, I'll know you're delirious. As that grove of Rasmala trees is not far. If we could make a dash for it. Uh-uh. Try again, Unc. It'll be a long time before Kolu can do any dashing. Say, you know, I... I just thought of something. Yeah? Suppose the bunch that's popping at us down the road there is our own gang. The thought also limped into this adult head, Mac. Tom Sun and I are in Japanese uniforms. Uh, yeah. Even if it is our guys, they'll do a lot of shooting before they make sure who we are. Well, we can't stay here. There'll be another Jap patrol whipping down that road any minute. True. And Kolo's shoulder needed attention long ago. The rest of you stay here. Hey. Hey, what's eating you all of a sudden? Oh, just going to cop a gander at those characters down the road. Well, if you poke your noggin above this ditch, it'll be the last gander you'll ever cop, Tom, son. Don't worry about me. I know what I mean. Come back, Tom, Tom. Don't worry. Brother, 
That's all I wanted to know. That been jet machine gun. And how, Colum? Could tell from sound. Could you spot its position, kid? Yeah. It's a mobile job mounted on a motorcycle sidecar. It's behind a high retaining wall where the road bends down there. The knowledge is of great interest, but of no use to us, Tom Tom. Even if we had any grenades left, they are beyond our reach. I don't know. The woods are plenty thick down by that road bend. Why, if we had a grenade, one of us might sneak around oh, and... Oh, stop dreaming, will you? We haven't got a grenade. And even from the woods, we could never be accurate enough to pick them off with pistol fire. Okay, then how about that Jap staff car on the road there? The staff car? Uh-huh. What about it? Well, there's enough grade in the road so as we could roll it into them. With an empty gas tank. Huh? They would cut us to ribbons long before we could reach the car town, son. Okay, okay. Then you tell me, Uncle. Get a strife of fine, Tuan Jim. It's a cinch we won't find him by staying in this ditch. Hey, hey, what's that? Sounds like... Wait a minute. Yeah. They're heading this way. Have your pistols ready. As soon as they are in range. Boy, hey, what the... Uh, what, what? That been hand grenade. Boy, I'll say it was. Blew that jack gun crew to kingdom come. Hey, hey, Tuan Jim be in wood. You are sure about the gun crew, Thompson? Well, take a look. Uh, uh, yes. The grenade was well aimed. This is our chance to reach those woods. Uh, Kolu, can you make it? Must got to make it. That's the talk. Here, uh, lean on me. I'm right behind you, Kolu. Uh, now, up, up, up we go now. Uh, 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 once we get across this clearing, we should be safe. Uh, sorry, Thompson. Oh, that's okay. Take your time. Uh, let him rest a minute. This not be good place for rest. Now, just stand still and catch your breath. We're all right now. One moment. Listen. Coming from the town. Another Jap patrol looking for us. And once they reach that road bend, they'll see us sure. We can't get back to the ditch. No. And the woods are still too far to reach. All we can do is wait. The four friends listen helplessly to the approaching enemy car. Before we see what happens... I'd like to remind you that the brilliant full-color pages of the Comic Weekly are jam-packed with your favorite features, all told over two dozen of them. They're waiting every Sunday to take you into a world of action, adventure, mystery, and chuckles. That's why the Comic Weekly is America's favorite funnies, greeted like an old friend in over six million homes. That's why 15 leading Sunday papers distribute it from coast to coast. So do yourself a favor by reading the Sunday paper in this city that contains the Comic Weekly. Now, back to the four friends trapped in a clearing in the hills of Java and Jungle Jim. Jim being confessed. Yeah. The monkey said when he cut his tail in the lawnmower... It won't be long now. Oh, if only they hadn't punctured the gas tank of the car we had to leave on the road. Yeah, if. Look, here they come. They've spotted us. Watch it. They're rounding the bend. <laughs> they, they did not see the car we left in the road in time to stop. <laughs> no. What are we waiting for? This place ain't healthy. Well, there's no use waiting to see how bad that crash was. Better us get to wood. Lean on me, Colo. It isn't far now. More soon as fine, Tuan Jim. More better. Hey, Sing. Colo can't hold out much longer. I know. Been, been getting dark. Plenty quick. Huh? It's passing out. Hmm. Easy, Tom, sir. Uh, uh, Give me a hand, Mac. Watch his shoulder. I've got a... Uh, let me take his feet. Uh, now then, gently. That's it. Don't, don't jog him. Uh, watch these stones in the trail. Okay. Well, 
At least we've made the woods. Uh, let us get deeper into the shadows. Yeah. Nice and cool in here, anyway. Uh, is Kolo's shoulder bleeding again, Tang San? No, Uncle. But it will if we jog him. Uh, let us get him off the trail. Watch those branches. Now then, straight ahead. Yeah. Hey, the grass looks nice and soft under that big tree over there. Oh, keep going. We must get away from the trail. So cool in here after that hot sun that I hope he doesn't take a chill. If we jog him much more, Uncle Singh, we'll open up that shoulder wound again. Yeah, under that tree straight ahead. Yeah, that's it. Now, turn him around now. Yeah. Prop him up against the tree. Oh, gently. Gently. Uh, uh, there we are. Good. Now, listen. A Jim Angzira should be waiting in the clearing at the other edge of these woods. Well, Kolo can't travel that far, Unc. No. And since we cannot get Kolo to help, we must bring help to Kolo. You two find Jim and the rest. I will stand guard over Kolo. Hey, but if a Jap patrol should come... Hey, we will have to risk it. And remember, the trail will be well patrolled, too. Mm. Take your bearings from this tree here and bring Jim and the others as rapidly as possible. But beware of Jap patrols every moment around. Hey, Mac. You sure you heard something on the trail down there? Yes. And we're not leaving here till we make good and sure. Mm. If we stay up here in this tree much longer, I'll feel like a monkey. Well, you heard what your Uncle Singh said. This trail is crawling with Jap patrols. Sure, sure. But it's nearly two hours since we left him back there with Kolu. And if Kolu doesn't get help soon... Hold it. Huh? I saw something red flashing through the trees down there. Something red? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a pair of natives. Yeah. The farmer and his wife. Uh, oh, look down the other way. Where? These branches are so thick, I can't... Shh, quiet. It's a Jap patrol. Yeah. I see them now. Three of them. They've stopped those natives. Wonder what they're saying. It isn't hard to guess. That farmer's shaking his head. Yeah. Hey! Oh, look at him, Troy. He's a dirty... Look at him. <laughs> Bayoneting him. Like a scum... But the woman's trying oh, to get him. Look, they're dragging her away by the hair. Oh, boy, I'd like to easy, get... Easy, kid, easy. So would I. There's no telling how many more of them there are. And we've got to think of Colin first. Yeah. Oh, look how they ripped that farmer. Better not look at it. Just remember it, that's all. Oh. Well, the Japs went back the way they came from. They dragged the woman with them. She'd be better off if they'd left... Left her dead, too. Come on. Let's get out of here, man. Now, wait. Give him time to put some distance between this place and... Hey, Mac. What? You see what I see? Where? Coming down the trail. Towards that dead farmer. Wait. Why, it's Jim. Yeah. Give him the signal. <whistles> he, he can't figure it. He's looking around. Let's go, Thompson. Yeah. Is that you, Cole? Guess again, Jackson. Tom's son. Hey, and Mac, too. Be right with you, Jim. Mac, boy, am I glad to see you. Where's Sing Lee and Colo and, and young Tani? Uh, Tani couldn't make it, Jim. Yeah. Oh, another score we'll have to settle, eh? Yeah. And, and did you see what they just did to this farmer? I saw, yes. I sent young Van back for the others. We'll cut that Jap patrol off and give them a taste of their own medicine. Oh, I don't know. Colo's in a bad way. What? He is. Shoulder wound, Jim. I've got some sulfur powders. Lead me to him. Young Van and the others will wait here. We can pick them up after Colo's been taken care of. And as soon as we're all together again, we can even things up for the farmer they just murdered. You sure this is where you left Colo and Sing Lee? Positive, Jim. Yeah. 
There's no place they could disappear to in these woods. Besides, Kolu wasn't able to walk. Yeah, they could have dragged him away, Thompson. Oh, not without a fight. And there's no sign of any empty cartridge shells. No sign of Kolu and Sing Lee either. Hey, Jim. Look over here. You find something, Mac? Plenty. Look at those footprints. Where the ground is damp over here. Footprints? Lots of them. And hey, look at these marks. They were made by Japanese hobnails. (laughs) 